So if you're struggling to get internet at your rural property like we were, you're gonna wanna watch this video. I have been running cellular internet now for over one year and I figured it's time to do an update. We literally have over 600,000 views on the channel on this and it's still relatively unknown to most people like it was to me but I get asked questions weekly about this, so I thought it was time to do an update. We'll talk about the good and we'll talk about the bad and an option that most people just don't realize they have available to them. So welcome everybody. My name's Andrew and you're watching The Kelly's Country Life. We do social media content and as a result, internet is my life. Without internet, I can't work from home and do the things that I do. We live in the middle of nowhere and the internet's just not available. No fiber, no DSL, and I stayed on a Starlink wait list for over a year and it never Never became available here. Then the prices shot up so high on it, I decided to drop it and look for other options. Thanks to a viewer over a year ago reached out telling me about cellular internet options and it's not your hotspot or your stuff that you're thinking of and I have never looked back. It's been an absolute blessing for us to be able to work from home. So what you're looking at here is one of many cellular internet routers that I've tested. I do not want to get people confused off the rip with thinking this is some sort of hotspot. This is way above and beyond that. You can see it has Wi-Fi antennas here and typically it comes with antennas installed on the back that looks identical to this. But as you can see, I have an external antenna connected. We're gonna discuss some of this today. My experiences with this, the good, the bad, and how you can build out your system to make it work far better than those hot spots you see from the big carriers. And here's the other good thing about this. To this day, I have experienced zero data caps, zero issues. It's truly unlimited, or at least it has been in my case. Now there has been some slowdowns and a few quirks. I'll tell you about it. I think it's localized to my tower only. It's some things that you should expect if you're gonna decide to go to cellular internet. So we're up here in my office where the magic happens, where I truly need the internet and we do a lot of content creation and uploading. Maybe you're just like me, you're trying to work from home. I'm constantly on Zoom meetings, Microsoft Teams, Google Connect, all these different types of meeting platforms. So internet is very important, as well as I upload social media content. Now with that said, we do a light amount of streaming as far as TV goes. We typically don't watch much TV, but I have some experience with that. If you're curious about movies, using Netflix, Hulu, and things such as that. But what is cellular internet? So most people get confused with the cellular internet they see from either T-Mobile or Verizon. They have home cellular internet, but you have to buy their data hubs, their gateways as they call them. And the bad thing about those is, you remember me showing you the antennas on the back side of my unit? Well, you can't add external antennas to those and they're very area specific. So if you spent time like I have going to T-Mobile's website or Verizon's uh, website and putting in your address, often it says not available in your area, even though I have full T-Mobile coverage here and I also have some Verizon coverage here as well. So the beautiful thing about that is going with a third party that doesn't have those area restrictions or caps they put on you. So the current routers that I have been running for about a year now are from a company called NetBuddy. By the way, I'll put all the links down in the description if you wanna check any of this out on your own. So you buy the plan directly from them the router it's already set up and again it's not area specific and there is no caps that I have personally experienced but the beautiful thing about those routers is well if you're under a metal roof like us or in an area to where you have relatively weak signal and a lot of you are that's why you're searching for internet you're just in the middle of nowhere but you want to live out in the country like we do but those routers will allow you to add an external antenna. Now it's storming outside today, so I'm gonna cut some clips here where I installed some antennas. By the way, I'm gonna put some links at the end of this video if you're watching on YouTube to where you can go see me install antennas, routers, and do much further testing. But there is another company that I purchased antennas off of Amazon from called Waveform. They make external antennas that happen to connect to all these different style aftermarket routers and it dramatically increases your speed. So let me give you some examples. I used a hotspot off of my phone here because I had unlimited hotspot and I would literally get around one to three megabits per second down and 0.7 or one up. I mean, it varied wildly, but it was always atrocious. Literally used to take me about eight hours to upload a 15 minute video to YouTube, for example. That made me doing content creation for a living a nightmare, because should I upload that video and see that there was an issue, I had to turn around and re-upload again. It literally would take two days sometimes to upload a 15 minute video. Now, once I started discovering these routers, holy smokes, just the router itself, you're talking 
pretty significant increases because the router's internal hardware and software plus the antennas that are built into it, or the external flip-up antennas, I should say, dramatically increase not only the signal you're receiving, but you're sending back to the tower versus say a cell phone or one of those little hotspot devices. But it gets better than that. If your tower's a long way off or you're trying to get through a lot of obstructions like us with trees and everything else, you can add those waveform external antennas. Now I purchased my first antenna, so full disclosure, once those videos started blowing up, the company reached out to me and they sent me a second antenna. Now I'm gonna cut some clips right here. You can see a panel style antenna that I stalled outside. They also have a, what's called a four by four. Uh, it's a different logarithmic or highly directional style antenna. And they have two by two. This all depends on the type of router that you purchase. And there's all different kinds of routers. You can purchase them straight off of Amazon, eBay, all over the place. But here's the issue with that. You're going to have to manually go in and set the router up to a SIM card. And you're going to have to make for sure that you get a data only SIM that is compatible to work with a device like that. My personal experience, this is one of the negatives to all this. When you buy a router independently and go to say an AT&T store or a Verizon store or T-Mobile and ask for a data only sim chances are the representative there has no idea what you're talking about and it becomes a little bit of a nightmare experience not to mention their data only plans are typically capped at lower speeds lower data amounts and they're kind of expensive whereas if you can get into the t-mobile or verizon dedicated internet plans which only works on their devices by the way the plans are very reasonable and they usually don't have much caps along with them but again they're area specific that's the issue that i've had right here even though I've got 5G of T-Mobile available here, it says not available. So I went with a company called NetBuddy, got their T-Mobile SIM in, and well, you remember me telling you I went from one to three megabits per second down on hotspot. Now I'm getting 60 to 70 megabits per second down and 60 to 70 up. A lot of y'all aren't concerned with up, but I am. If again, if you're doing the Microsoft Teams and Zoom meetings and things such as that, if you're gaming, if you're uploading social media content, upload is dramatic. And I'm getting better upload speeds than the majority of people I know that have Starlink internet. Latency is also decent. I've did a lot of tests on the channel. You want to check that out. So if you're a gamer, I'm not, so I can't speak from experience with that. But latency is not bad on the cellular internet as well. Now here's the shocker. I just did a speed test the other day and got the best I have ever seen in the over a year I've been running the cellular internet. I got 111 megabits per second down. That is amazing for me, being that I was typically getting one to three megs down off of hotspot. So long story short, what that means is we're opening up the world of possibilities here. We can stream multiple devices, we can have a laptop going, we can be watching TV, you can have your cell phone connected, and we're having actual real internet out here. So for millions of y'all that are just in the same situation as us, either you can't get Starlink or you're not wanting to pay $130 a month, there is options out there. So I wanna do an update video here and talk to you. So the pros, let's just go over those real quick and let's jump into some cons. The pros, the monthly prices are far cheaper. The T-Mobile right now, through the company that I'm getting it, which is NetBuddy, is about $55 a month. That's an excellent price, especially compared to Starlink. And again, I'm just not seeing any caps going on there as well. Over a year of me constantly using it for social media, I have yet to be throttled or capped or cut off that I've been able to tell. The other positives, again, this equipment allows you to add those waveform external antennas. Highly recommend them. They make a huge, and I mean a huge difference, literally going from 10 to 15 megs down on a router sitting on my desk to 60, 70, some days I get 100 plus. The antennas really, really do work. So the other positives, no contracts, no commitments, and I've seen no data caps, everything's unlimited, there's no fine print that you're dealing with whenever you do a third party company. So let's talk about some negatives. You're gonna have higher initial cost whenever you go with a system like this, but it may be your only option, and it was just something I absolutely had to do for the channel so I can make social media content. So if you invest in the router, you're gonna have a few hundred bucks there, although they have cheaper routers that start out, but if you're gonna do this, you might as well get a quality router with good hardware and the ability to add some of the best antennas that you can. But again, the prices are very cheap per month compared to something like Starlink. And by the way, with Starlink, for example, you've gotta spend several hundred dollars to purchase that equipment up front as well. About the same amount that you'll have in a set of antennas and router here for a setup like I have. So my experience over the last year, it's been excellent. I've been able to, it's honestly been life-changing, it really has. 
social media content, uploading videos going from eight hours to now I can upload a 15 minute video in three to seven minutes, just depends on the day and the tower congestion. Like it's been, it's been absolutely amazing. But some of the issues I see because we're running off of a cellular tower, cellular towers are subject to that congestion I was telling you about. So all during the week, mornings when everybody's at work and the road's not being traveled heavily near me, I'm constantly averaging 60, 70, 80 down, some days 100 plus, and everything is great. Now on the weekends, typically Saturdays and mainly Sundays, when people are traveling a four lane road near us and everybody's home around me, well that's when my tower's gonna have the most congestion and I'll see speeds dropping down to the 20 to 30 megabit a second range. Still plenty fast enough to watch your favorite movie and do things, but you do see a reduction in speeds. Well, again, you're seeing congestion. Same thing with Starlink. The more people that come on, the more people in your area, that's why they're area specific on how many people they allow in, the more congestion you experience and slowdowns, buffering and everything else. It's just the name of the game. I did go through one small period where I experienced some disconnecting issues with my router. Honestly, I did a lot of troubleshooting with NetBuddy, with Waveform, um, and I did several things at once. I'm really thinking it has a lot more to do with some specific things that I've done and maybe my tower as well, but I did so many things at once, I can't tell you which one fixed it, but I'm not experiencing that connectivity issue anymore. Maybe once in a blue moon, I drop connectivity to the tower, a quick reset of my router, and I'm back connected. But I went through and found a setting that was off my router. I also replaced a cable, went out to my antennas. I do so much testing on the channel, I'm constantly bending those cables, hooking up new routers, and I think I may have broken a coax wire, but I'm not for sure. As well as I was experiencing a Wi-Fi internal issue on my laptop so I added an external Wi-Fi dongle and everything's been beautiful ever since we've been live streaming for social media no issues so I can't say exactly which one fixed my issue that I had there but again I think that was specific to me and me only now I encourage you to go read all the reviews that you want and all the feedback and comments on these videos again well over 600,000 views on these videos and a lot of our viewers have purchased this equipment and have give Excellent feedbacks, I mean excellent. If you go really read, the majority of the viewers are praising, thank you so much. Had no idea this internet even existed. We can actually stream now, my kids can play video games, I can do my Zoom meetings. Just hundred, actually there's thousands upon thousands of comments of people that said they had no idea that this internet existed, just like I didn't, and it's literally changing their life like it has for us. So take all this for what it's worth. Yes, now I get some of the products. Originally, I footed the bill for every bit of it, but again, go read those comments from our viewers who are footing the full price themselves. My friends are running this equipment. They're all talking about excellent speeds. But with that said, I do wanna caution you before you purchase any of this equipment. So there's two options. I've already shown in some videos, so I'm not gonna, again, repeat myself too much here in this video. But if you wanna look in your area and see what's available, what towers and all, cellmapper.net, use that. It's excellent for locating towers. It shows the area they cover with a highlighted map so you can look in your area. You can see what bands those towers run on, who services them, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, all that good stuff. Or Open Signal. That is an app that you can use on your phone. It'll allow you to aim, find the tower's location, and give you some of that information as well. Always do your research before investing money in this equipment right here because you need to make sure your area is covered. I always tell everybody, if you have at least one bar signal on your phone, whatever your service is in that area, chances are, especially with those waveform antennas, you can reach out to that tower and boost that signal. But if you're in an area like mine, just a few years ago, T-Mobile did not service this area at all, and all of a sudden, they cover it greatly. I had no idea until I checked the map, and turns out T-Mobile is giving me my best service in this area. So you wanna make for sure that you check your area out. All right, I wanna run this series in the ground. Well, I do have some new equipment and things I wanna be testing here coming up in the future. We're gonna keep giving you this information. And another full disclosure, I now have been announced by our electric co-op that we're getting fiber here to the house, although they think it's gonna be well into next year. But I'm still gonna to continue to test the Sailor options because it is such a popular series. It's helped so many people. 
And because social media is now my career and my life, I'm always gonna keep two forms of internet here. Cellular internet is my backup and fiber whenever I get it will be my main one. Just in case fiber ever goes down, somebody digs and cuts the line, you're talking long extended outages. And no more than the cellular internet monthly plans cost, it's worth it for me to have a backup. But I wanted to put this video out as an update. I'm still thrilled. This is still life changing for me. There's some of the good, there's some of the bad. Ask any questions that you have, that's what the comment section's for. And once we get our hands on some new equipment in the future, we're gonna test it, we're gonna show it off, and we're gonna continue to find ways for you and myself to get internet out here in the country where we wanna live. Thanks for watching.